Taking a few moments to be quiet in God's presence, we cross the threshold and try not to hurry or become anxious about where the path will lead. We simply follow. To begin your foot walk, wait until the person before you has made the second turn. Set your own pace. You may pass others or let them pass you. It is believed that by walking with your feet, we are given the opportunity to slow down and become silent, following the path to the center. Let go to relinquish, to be cleansed, to become empty and open. It is a time of talking to God about all that has been hidden in our heart and just following the path. The most common benefit of a labyrinth use is that it provides a way of silencing the noise and turmoil in our busy lives. The slow, rhythmic walking back and forth eases the mind and can act as a full body prayer. As one turns back and forth, there is a balance in both hemispheres of the brain. There is a feeling of being more relaxed and peaceful, and there is a stillness that brings us close to the divine. You can always find your way to walk the labyrinth, as there are no dead ends. It is not a maze, only a welcome to possibility and curiosity. Once we get into the center, we wait in silence, listening for God's word to, to come to us, have an open heart, and receive what is given. As we approach the center, the short labyrinth has a six petal flower, each petal with its own meaning. First petal to your left is iron or metals. The second petal, water. Third is earth. Fourth petal is human. Fifth petal, spiritual. And the sixth is divine. When we feel ready to follow or to return, we follow the path again. Keep your heart and mind open to the Spirit's leading. Those returning will come out the same path, so step aside and let them pass. While walking the labyrinth, give yourself permission to feel and to find and express emotions. Tears, laughter, joys, sorrows. You may want to even dance. It is a time of community yet solitude, respecting the silence, the joys, and the tears. As you leave the labyrinth, thank God for being with you and on the journey. Allow your experience to flow into your life. Journal or draw your reflections in response to your experience. The Labyrinth Society has a day, has set aside a day, and it's May 1st for the entire world. We, at 1 o'clock on May 1st, walk as one, at one. Each and every one of us go to our closest labyrinth or use our finger labyrinths or we'll be walking with the intention of global peace on that day.
the labyrinth often is useful in times of creativity, transformation, and adjusting to a new circumstance. There are many experiences of labyrinth walk. Some find joy, others discover peace, some experience healing or guidance. Often I find it just a place to be.